are making our way to the hidden cemetery, the Confederate cemetery. It's pretty remote back here. I had to park way up on the road on 421, you know, park there and start walking down here. Uh, that was the first sign that I've seen in a while. So I believe I'm on the right trail. So I guess 540 feet. Let's get to the hidden grave site. So as you can see right behind me, we've made it to the hidden Confederate cemetery. There are 13 Confederate soldiers buried here and they are from Arkansas, Tennessee, Louisiana, and Texas. The soldiers died here during the Battle of Richmond, which took place on August 30th, 1862. Now up until 1972, these graves were just marked by stones and we didn't really even know who these soldiers were. But thanks to research done by John B. Floyd Jr., we were able to reveal the names of the soldiers buried here. And also they were able to give them proper gravestones. Now we're not exactly sure the location of each individual soldier. So all they did was just place the headstones of all 13 of the soldiers who died here. They just placed them where the old stones had been. But either way, this is the gravesite of the soldiers who passed here. And to pay honor to them, I'll take you through them one by one and read off their names. So first up we have Jim McCoy, 1st Texas Battery, CSA, August 30th, 1862. Robert Waters, 1st Texas Battery, CSA, August 30th, 1862. 2nd Lieutenant William Tidwell, Marion, Lieutenant Artillery, CSA, August 30th, 1862. C.D. Simmons, Koji, 47th Regiment, Tennessee Volunteers, CSA, August 30th, 1862. Latanius A. Richards, Co. D. 1st Regiment, Louisiana Cavalry, CSA, 1834 to 1862. Val McClure, Co. F. 31st Regiment, Arkansas Volunteers, CSA, 1832 to 1862. John Diggins, Co. G. 151st Regiment, Tennessee Volunteers, CSA, 1830 to 1862. William A. Rhodes, Co. C. 13th Regiment, Tennessee Volunteers, CSA, 1847 to 1862, just 15 years old. John E. Barnett, Co. E., 47th Regiment, Tennessee Volunteers, CSA, August 30th, 1862. A. H. Johnson, Marion, Lieutenant Artillery, CSA, August 30th, 1862. 3rd Lieutenant James N. Boren, 1st Texas Battery, CSA, August 30th, 1862. W.B. Claiborne, Co. H, 13th Regiment, Tennessee Volunteers, CSA, 1837 to 1862. Robert R. Stone, Co. 1, 13th Regiment, Tennessee Volunteers, CSA, August 29th, 1862. It's important to remember and honor places like this, regardless of what side of things that you're on, these are Americans who died here. Uh, you can think right or wrong of what they did. It doesn't really matter. It's pretty irrelevant at this point. They're Americans and they died and they deserve respect too. So I like to see that this is still maintained and looks pretty good in good condition, but I wish that it was a little bit better known. I had no idea about this until I started doing a little bit of research on the Battle of Richmond and even just finding this was totally obscure. So if you're ever near Big Hill, which is outside of Berea, make sure you try to figure out some time to come find this place. Saw 421, there's a little pullover. You can't actually drive all the way down or at least the gate was locked when I got here, but you can park right there, walk down that little road, it turns into the gravel path and then you'll find the sign that leads to this trail. Eventually you'll find this site. Plan on making some videos on the Battle of Richmond coming up pretty soon. I'm gonna visit some more of the historical sites around the town. So be sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on. That way you're alerted whenever I upload those videos. Thank you so much for watching all the way until the end of this video. It really does mean a lot to me. I hope that you have a fantastic day. See you in the next